Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be talking about what are web components. We're going to be talking all about the high level overview of the different technologies involved and a little bit what we'll cover in the Level Up Tutorials course on web components. So if you're interested in learning about what are web components, follow along. Now, before I get started, if you would like to learn all about web components, we have just released a new tutorial series on it. It is brand new. It is shockingly up to date. And this is at leveluptutorials.com. You can sign up at .com forward slash pro. I'll have a link in the description of this video. If you sign up for the year, you can save 25% and get access to a brand new tutorial series every single month on many topics like Svelte Kit, web components, building Svelte components, e-commerce on the Jamstack, code automation with GitHub Actions, and so much more. So if you want to check that out, head on over to the link in the description. We'll have those links available to you. All right, now on to web components. So in the, this video, we're going to be talking all about what are web components. And largely, what, what is the spec? What, how do we use them and what do they do? Now, web components for a long time have been this fabled thing that have been talked about as an alternative to writing maybe JavaScript frameworks or even using other things to write JavaScript heavy applications, reuse code, encapsulate styles, and encapsulate functionality into reusable components. And for the most part, it's been a really long road to get these things in. Now, they are here, we can use them, and just about all of these things work in everything except for Internet Explorer. However, you're probably gonna want to end up using a polyfill for some things as well. So, web components themselves are basically a few specifications and APIs that you can use to write custom elements and custom web components. The first of this is the custom elements specification, and this allows you to define custom elements. The syntax is pretty neat. You create a card or something or whatever you want, class card extends HTML element, and it's a class. Then to attach the class to its definition, you do custom elements, which is on the window, dot define, and then whatever the custom element name is, and then you pass in the class. Now you are then free to use something like this, as your own custom element in HTML. And this allows you to have a custom element that encapsulates your own JavaScript that is encapsulated and able to be reused. So that's custom elements. However, there's also the shadow DOM. Now we know about the regular DOM, which is the document object model, but the shadow DOM is a smaller, more self-contained scoped DOM that allows you to encapsulate CSS as well as markup into components. Now, this is kind of what you see with elements that you use already today that have been created from other elements. If you look inside of a video player, it's a lot of little elements inside of there, inside of the controls. So typically you have a DOM, which is your main document object model, but then you can create your own miniature shadow DOM, and you can attach things to it and work with it just like the normal DOM, and it encapsulates CSS. Now there's also ES modules, which webcomponents.org has part of the spec. I, you know, we don't talk too much about ES modules being part of web components, but ES modules is the import syntax that you're kind of used to in JavaScript. It's not a big part in my mind of web components. Next we have HTML templates, which is the ability to use a template to reuse HTML. Now the template syntax is really pretty neat. You just say template ID and give it an ID. You can then use this template without even having an HTML custom element. You don't have to have a custom element. You can simply copy and clone and insert a template into the DOM and have a reusable template or you can use the template in your shadow DOM and have the custom element utilize its own template. So that is basically web components. It's several things that allow you to create your own APIs. Now the documentation on this stuff is really neat and these things are pretty darn intense, but you can really make some cool stuff. So over the course of this course, we're gonna be making a counter that allows you to count where we have our own attributes, such as maybe perhaps its initial starting value. Maybe we can change that and you can see it updates live in the DOM. It has a min and a max, so it will stop at zero and stop at 10. However, this one will go as high as you want. And we can also do a tabs example. 
And we also make a tab system that is fully accessible and keyboard navigatable, includes tab zones and ARIA labels and everything you'd want to make this thing fully accessible as well. And these are just two of the examples of things that we make throughout this course to understand all of the concepts. So let's dive into custom elements the Shadow DOM, and HTML templates to build our own web components on Level Up Tutorials. So if you would like to learn all of that and more, head on over to leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro. You can sign up to become a pro today and get access to a whole course on web components. It's 22 videos long. We go through all sorts of stuff and you learn the ins and outs of the Shadow DOM, the ins and outs of custom elements and templates and how to work with it all and what kind of pitfalls you might typically find along the way. If that interests you, leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro. If you sign up for the year, you can save 20 25%. We also have team plans available. So if you have your whole team, they want to learn, hop on the team plan. In addition to that, we also have courses on Svelte, lots of them, building Svelte components, Svelte kit, modern CSS design systems, which is probably my favorite course on here. Code automation with GitHub. This one is taught by Brian Douglas of GitHub. It's an amazing course. Brian really did a great job. There's also going to be a new course for last month, which is e-commerce on the Jamstack by Colby Fayok. And so, so we have a new course every single month. So if you sign up for the year, you can get a brand new course every single month and learn a whole ton of really interesting stuff. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next What is Wednesday.